now let's see this question this question came in gate 2014 for one mark the question is you have an array of n elements suppose you implement quick sort by always choosing the central element of the array as input okay then the tightest upper bound for the worst case performance is what okay so they are saying that there is an array okay and in that array whatever is the central element that is always chosen as the pivot and around that pivot the partition process of quick sort is done in each iteration in each iteration this this thing is done then what is the tightest upper bound they are asking okay so uh, you might be knowing that the worst case in a quick sort occurs when the maximum or minimum element is always chosen as the pivot so in our case if the pivot is such that luckily or unluckily in our case always the minimum or maximum element is always chosen as pivot then that will give us a very bad performance and that will be in, in fact the worst case performance of quick sort which is going to be uh, order n square but uh, we will see that that will be the case in case uh, we are choosing um, central element as the pivot also because if that would not be the case then universally we will choose central element of the pivot and then worst case performance of quick sort would not be uh, order n square it will be uh, better than that so if uh, the performance is uh, order n square then that will only justify the worst case performance of quick sort anyways let's try it with an example let's firstly try it with a sorted example so let's say 1 2 3 4 Five, six, and seven. Let's say this is a sorted sorted array, and on that we are going to perform quick sort using the strategy of choosing central element as the pivot. So here, this thing is going to be four is going to be chosen as pivot. Then the left side is going to be this, and and right side is going to be this because the partition process will not do anything because it is already sorted. Now again, we are going to do. Uh, quick sort recursively on this portion. So in that case, now. This is going to be chosen as pivot, and in this side, this is going to be chosen pivot. And again, we will see that the partition is done uh, equally. So one five will come this side, six will, seven will come this side, and then one will come this side, and three will come towards the right of the pivot because uh, two is already in, at the sorted position. So one and three will come on on the opposite sides. So here, what we are seeing that basically what is happening that for a sorted sequence, it is coming out to be every time. the partitioning process is something like this two times t n by 2 so the recursive call will be done on a size of n by 2 because it is since it is already sorted and we are choosing the middle element then it is going to be something like this 2 t n by 2 both of them we are doing and then basically uh, this theta n is the partitioning time so theta n is the partitioning time and this is 2 uh, t n by 2 now we are going to see that if the case is that so the, what what is going to be the running time for this in this case the running time is simply theta uh, n log n and you can say that order n log n also but we have to see the worst case running time tightest upper bound in, in uh, for any input so for sorted input it is not not worst but i will give you another input in which there will be a worst case of actually order n square let's see so let's say we are having a input something like this 1 3 2 7 and then 5 4 6 okay so if that is the case then firstly this is going to be the chosen pivot see this input is chosen intentionally in order to make the worst case occur why because worst case in quick sort occurs when the either the maximum or minimum element is always chosen as a pivot So in this case, seven is the maximum, and let's say the input is this, then seven is the maximum, right? So after the partitioning process, we are going to get something like this. We are going to get something like this: one, three, two, five, four, six, right? And then we are going to get seven. So this is this part. Okay. So now we have to do this. So my point is that. Anyone can always give a sorted input, uh, an uh, input which is 
such a case that uh, the proper case of equal partitioning is not done and every time we are going to pick the middle element somehow the minimum or maximum element is encountered in that case the uh, if it is a minimum then everything will come towards the right if it is a maximum then everything will come towards the left and that will give a, give us a worst case performance okay and that worst case performance okay will look like something like tn is equal to uh, t n minus 1 so in, in, uh, rather than doing two uh, recursing on two equal sub partitions we are going to get a single partition of n minus 1 size right and plus theta n which is going to give us theta n square or we can say order n square okay as i mentioned earlier so order n square can be the worst case running time in this case so the answer is a order n square